One of my next guests does not believe that's the case and is revising her stock targets lower for the year. Joining me now, Mark Smith is Senior Vice President and Portfolio Manager at Wells Fargo Advisors, and Ava Ados is Chief Operating Officer and Chief Investment Strategist at ER Shares. Welcome to both with you, both, both of you, Ava. I think you're a little bit more cautious, so uh, explain where you see stocks headed from here. Yes, um, I think we're going to have a choppy rest of the year, and I think it's. Uh, I think analysts will start reassessing the estimates for the second half. The first, uh, the first half has already been reassessed down, but we will see the second half of the year, maybe the beginning of 2023, also getting reassessed. And I think that there's not a lot of surprise here with the Fed's comments. I, the surprise to me is that the rates are not there yet. Um, are not there yet because if you if you see inflation running between eight to ten percent and the rates on the long term end haven't adjusted to that in the short term we have a lot of activity but between the five year and the thirty year the yield curve is about flat so what we think is going to happen is we'll see another adjustment on the yield curve another shift up vertical shift up that will better illustrate and reflect the reality with inflation not seeing, uh, showing signs of slowing down anytime soon. So you're looking at places like healthcare, uh, you know, basically pieces, places where people can't really pull back that much. I kind of have to keep spending. Uh, there's a couple names that you like in that sector, RMD, EXEL. Mark, what about you? Big picture, how do you feel about the Fed's inflation fighting here, um, the way that rates are behaving, the fact that stocks, at least today, are holding up pretty well? Thanks for having me on again, Kelly. Uh, listen, I think at the end of the day, we've got to look at what has to happen. The Fed has to act, and they may have to act aggressively, according to what Bullard is saying. And so we should totally expect that there could be 50, 50 basis points, 75 basis point hikes, maybe not this time, but definitely next time. Um, I think Ukraine is giving them a little kind of cover here to, to slow things down. But um, the fact that Eight and a half percent in um, inflation, a 40 year high. They've got to address that. So um, the issue is, it's for my clients is what do we do with that knowledge? We got to go on the financials. Uh, they're really the only sector that um, that benefits heavily by rising rates. And so you're seeing that if 75 basis points um, comes to pass, the Bullard suggested that the financials are going to be the biggest beneficiary of this. And, and guess what? The valuation levels are great. There really are a sector that hasn't had these huge run-ups um, like tech. And so I think financials in a rising rate environment and based on the valuations is a good place to be.